Joined by head coach Kevin Epley here at the Carolina yeah. Tennis Center, where the Gamecocks are coming off a couple of road wins at Mississippi State and Ole Miss. Coach, let's talk about both those wins. It's four in a row now for South Carolina. Everybody seems to be kind of hitting their stride last weekend. Minus that doubles point, I guess, against Mississippi State. It seemed like everything pretty much came together the way you would have hoped. Yeah, I think we're, we, we are hitting our stride, as you say. Um, it took a little while this year to get us all firing and uh, in sync as a team. Uh, we knew we, we know we have it in us, so we're just taking it one match at a time, trying to adjust each match. Uh, Mississippi State, we didn't play well in doubles at all. We've been playing pretty well all season, so we worked on that and got it together for the most part against uh, Ole Miss. You know, everybody in the conference is is really tough. You know, from top to bottom, you can't take any of these matches for granted. Um, you know, Mississippi State's only won a couple matches, but they're very, very strong. Um, and Ole Miss is strong. It just it just so happened that uh, <clears throat> on Saturday for a second match, we played a little better. We played a little stronger than we did on Thursday. It looked like we were in sync with singles. So um, that was fortunate for us, and hopefully we can build on it and take it into the the final stretch of matches here. We'll have to talk about, I think, Megan Davis and the big weekend she had on the road there. Picked up a couple of wins against two top 40 ranked players. Clinched the win against Mississippi State. We've got the third point, I want to say, against Ole Miss. So uh, just a, a big weekend for her. Seems like she's really kind of figured things out here lately. Yeah, I mean, her game has uh, was struggling a little bit early on in the season. Um, and I, I think... Sometimes I think she's just a little disoriented. I mean, taking some time off. Uh, took a lot of time off in England uh, with with uh, the coronavirus and didn't hit a ball for a long time. And it really just kind of took a while to get her, her legs underneath her and feel comfortable. And to be honest, she's playing some of the best tennis I've ever seen her play right now. She's really balanced. She can get the ball up on you. She can, she can attack. Uh, she's using her serve better. She's hitting her forehand well. Her volleys have improved. Her slice has improved. And uh, she's just extremely fast. I mean, it's just hard. I mean, he, Ole Miss, the girl uh, for Ole Miss playing two is very, very good. I was very impressed with her. And it just gets really frustrating to try and end a point on her. Mississippi State girl was very strong, too. It just they, they keep thinking they got the point one, and it just goes on three, four, five more shots and just frustrating for them over time. Well, also, Mia Horvath had a big weekend. Really, in this whole four-game stretch, I mean, me and Megan are, are both three and zero in those four matches, and you know, obviously they played doubles together and have done well in doubles. It, it seems like just when you have those top two going like that, it, it seems like that that just makes your team so much tougher to beat. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we felt like last year we were, when we were four and zero in the SEC, they were kind of leading the charge, um, and and they are now. You know, they're just. They, they look like Gamecocks now. I mean, I, I, the way uh, Ole Miss is set up, you had the, the banks of two courts. So I was fortunate enough to be on their top two courts. And uh, it was just good to see. I mean, they're just, they were just warriors out there. And uh, you, just, you just felt the, the energy welling inside them. And it was just going to be a hard day for anyone to take them down. If they continue with that kind of competitive spirit um, and lead the team this way, I mean, they're very, very experienced players. So, um, you know, there's there's no telling what we can do. Well, looking ahead now to this week, it's Vanderbilt on Thursday, Kentucky on Saturday. When you look at the SEC standings, it's really just a log jam of teams after Georgia. I mean, Georgia was the favorite to win it. They're 8-0. But after that, I mean, you've got so many teams right now that have either four or five wins. And, I mean, really, I mean, you look at South Carolina's 5-5. Five and five. South Carolina could easily finish as number two seed going in the SEC tournament or something. Just the way things are kind of set up right now, it's kind of a, an interesting year that there's just so many teams. It seems like there's so much parity, even more than there kind of normally is sometimes. I, I mean, what do you kind of make of that? Is it just kind of that year, or is it just the SEC and just teams beating up on each other? Uh, this is probably the deepest I've seen the SEC, to be honest. Um, it, there are no teams that you take for granted. Um, you know, like last year, say Missouri was at, Missouri was at the bottom of the pack, and you know they're they got a win. Uh, they've got a, they're playing with a whole new energy. Alabama's very tough. I mean, they've lost some matches, but I mean a lot of them are four three. I mean, it's just everybody is so tough. And if you get on the wrong end of some of those matches, I mean, it it can look kind of bleak. I mean, at one point we were one and five in the SEC. Um, just being on the wrong side of some of those. So um, I just. To be honest, I mean, this is the closest in level most of the teams have been. Maybe it's because of 
the uh, extra year of eligibility. A lot of these kids are, are back, and it's kind of creating some parity. There's no graduated kids off a team. Um, it's it's hard to know for sure. It's hard to know for sure, but. Uh, yeah, some teams have surprised. I mean, Auburn's had a great season. I mean, they've only lost a couple matches, um, come a long way this year. And uh, any, any, anybody can win in these matches. I mean, you're just off on one or two courts, or you lose the doubles point because someone double faulted a few times. That could be the difference. You know, it's just uh, you just got to keep bringing it and hope enough of them land your way. Well, nice to have three home matches here to close out the season. Certainly that always helps, not having to travel. I know it's going to be an exciting, some exciting matches this weekend. going to be an exciting finish, just like I said, to this whole SEC season as a whole just because of how uh, you know, close everything is just to see how it all shakes out. So definitely looking forward to this weekend. Appreciate it, Coach. Thank you very much. We're looking forward to it as well.